do with our two college to career supplemental questionnaire that we use in addition to the Berkman is we do discuss and ask the student, you know, how important is income to you? Uh, but there are several spots on the Berkman itself where we are able to tell um, how important income is to them. You know, things like what is their social service score? Um, we have a score called Advantage, and that tells us how uh, much importance they would put on income. And then we also want their opinion on it. So that will come into play for a student. But what, where we're going with, you know, the rest of the scores are – We've got those interests, and our idea behind it is let's get your interest embraced. And then the other key pieces are these 77 measurements. You know, one of the tools that everybody probably is familiar with out there because it's very inexpensive to take, and it's a very simple tool, is the Myers-Briggs um, personality assessment. Just for comparison, that is only giving four measurements of observable behaviors in an individual, where with the Berkman, it's giving 77 but the key to the Berkman is, and it's something that no other personality assessment is measuring, is 11 different measurements on our innate needs that we have. So all of the tools that are out there really look at what your usual style or observable behaviors are, but the Berkman is set apart by being able to measure underlying needs that are not observable. And if we can dial a student or an adult, quite frankly, into a career that is both going to embrace their interests and get their needs met, then people stay in their productive behaviors and they have great satisfaction. And so that's, that was the key for me for settling on the Berkman is this assessment of needs and driving at people getting their needs met to stay productive and satisfied. With LEAP, how do you work? How does a career to college coaching work with a Berkman? How do you actually work with clients? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, distance is not a problem. As the two of us know, you're in California, I'm in Cincinnati, and we've not had a problem working together at all over the years. Um, we have actually done our leap to college to career coaching with people all over the world. Um, we've coached Americans living in Germany, India, and Afghanistan um, that were stationed in Afghanistan. So it can be taken anywhere. So our process is that a family would register on our Leap to Success website. That's www.leap, the number two, success.com. Once they're registered, they're going to receive two assessments. One, the online Berkman personality assessment, and two, um, our, what we call our supplemental Leap to College to Career um, supplemental questionnaire. That will include questions on the academic profile and things like that. Once the student has completed both of those online, so they can do it from home or from anywhere, they just need a computer, within seven business days, we yield for them two reports. The Berkman, with those 77 measurements of personality, actually yields, and you've, you've got yours, Beatrice, a 56-page report on personality. The Leap to College to Career report, which begins with five best-fit careers, the college majors that feed to them and colleges that are respected for those majors comes in a 24-page report. Many of our clients also want a one-hour phone consultation that we go ahead and include for them as well, and that's scheduled as soon as we have both of the reports ready. It's a pretty, it, it's a big report, actually. I haven't gotten through it all, so it is helpful. I did spend some time sitting down with Lisa to understand uh, my report and to be able to understand it when I'm talking to my own students. So, yeah, Lisa, what do you do with a student who's already in college or they've graduated, but they're still not sure about their career path? Yeah, that's the great thing about the Berkman. Um, your Berkman scores, for the most part, do not change over your lifetime. They're established once you are in, um, it, it, you know, a teenage years. So we do this with all sorts of um, age groups. So our high schoolers, we're doing it, we're driving college selection. Our college students, we actually say we're checking and revising. So or are you on a path that is a good fit for you? Um, if we need to revise, let's do that. We can actually look at not switching colleges, but let's look at the majors that are offered within the college where the student already is enrolled and say, figure out what paths would lead to some of these best fit careers. Um, students who are graduating, we, we might be looking at graduate school programs for them. And with many adults, 20s, 30s, even 40s, we're looking at 
coaching them not only on career, but also on best fit work environment as well. So there's no limit to the age groups that we work with with this. So how many questions are there on the Berkman test? There are over 200, but you know what? It can be completed in about, we always say that for the investment of less than one semester's worth of books, which is what our Leap to College to Career cost, and in the investment in about a little bit under one hour's worth of time, you're going to get these two extremely powerful reports. Um, so not a huge investment when you think of the savings this, that this investment is um, in your future. That's great. And how young would you actually, how, what are the youngest kids that you're recommending take it? You know, we could give it to a freshman and we're going to get great results. The problem is, after working with teenagers for over 20 years myself, I know that, quite frankly, kids aren't ready to think about college until they're in that window of usually right after the sophomore year of high school. Um, So I prefer to do it with a student who's completed the sophomore year, maybe in the spring of the sophomore year. Any time in the junior or senior year is great. Um, Quite frankly, you know, the earlier the better within that window. But if we start too early, I find that a student – oftentimes is not really ready to engage in the college selection process, and I don't want the value, the wealth of this information to fall on deaf ears. Hey, Lisa, can you share with us a story of a student who went through the process and found it valuable? Certainly. Um, So Andrew is a student from Chicago that we worked with this summer. Um, If you would have talked to him only about his schoolwork and where he excelled in school, uh, very, very good at math, and kind of what he was known for, and a lot of his extracurricular pursuits fell in that area. But when we gave him his Berkman, um, what we started to see in how he approaches his work and and his um, interest, and this is something that uh, Beatrice heard about when we were at a recent conference together, um, was presenting very what we would call blue, which is about creating, designing, and planning. So we actually offered up a series of um, careers for investigation, that were centered not only on having some math involved in it, but gave a piece of creativity. Had we not had his Berkman, we would have missed that he had a need to embrace a a side of designing things, planning, and a piece of creativity in his career choice. Hey, thanks, Lisa. I really appreciate you sharing your knowledge and experience and joining us today on College Smart Radio. Oh, it's been great to be with you, Beatrice. Thanks for having me. Thanks. We've been talking with Lisa Mater about career coaching and what, because and why it can be an important upfront investment which could pay off as saving you money for college. A link to Lisa's LEAP website and details about her two-college, two-career Berkman Method coaching is available on our website at www.collegesmartradio.com. Well, that wraps up another weekly show of College Smart Radio. We hope you picked up some new information today that helps you figure out ways to manage the runaway costs of college. For a link to a podcast of this show and our prior weekly shows, go to our website, www.collegesmartradio.com. That's where you'll also find a schedule of our upcoming shows. Also, make sure you print out or bring up on your tablet or glossary of college planning terms for reference during our future shows. It's a complicated topic to navigate, and without knowing the terms, it's easy to get lost. You can hear us each week here on KDOW 1220 AM, Saturdays at 3 p.m. We promise to bring you up-to-date information from the front lines of helping Bay Area parents deal with the most expensive years of their lives. You've been listening to College Smart Radio with Certified Financial Planner Beatrice Schultz. If you have a question on today's topic, log on to collegesmartradio.com or call area code 650 587-1517. That's 650-587-1517. Join us next week at this time for another edition of College Smart Radio on AM 1220 KDOW.